welcome to my classroom design of bridges hi everyone lakshmi here uh, assistant professor department of civil engineering snit uh, discussing here the design of unreinforced elastomeric bearing so design of unreinforced elastomeric bearing the example question question is design an elastomeric and reinforced neoprene pad bearings to suit the following data first vertical load sustained 200 kN vertical load dynamic 40 kN 40 then horizontal force 60 kN 60 then modulus of elasticity of elastomer 1 newton per mm square friction coefficient 0.3 okay then comes to the solution step 1 load calculation okay the total vertical load and total horizontal load that is load calculation first total vertical load vertical load means sustained plus dynamic that is given in the question 200 plus 40 it is 240 kN and comes to the horizontal it is 60 kN that also given in the question then step 2 plan dimension for an unreinforced elastomeric bearing the plan dimensions taken as per irc 83 1987 select a uh, suitable size index number size 6 corresponding to size 6 width a equal to 250 and length b equal to 500 then step 3 thickness there is a condition t less than a by 5 also here also select a thickness 30 mm Okay, then calculate the area A into B. Okay, the area calculated as one two five zero 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 mm square. Then U equal to T into tan phi, where tan phi equal to H C divided H C plus H S divided by G into A, where H C plus H S it is the horizontal force. It is given in the question sixty kilo newton. Then H C plus H S is equal to sixty kilo newton. Substitute the value in tan phi. Then tan phi equal to zero point four eight. Okay, and substitute the value of tan phi in U. U equal to T into tan phi. Then T uh, it is thirty into zero point four eight. It is fourteen point three nine. Rounded to fourteen point four zero m. Okay. U shear deformation translational shear deformation. There is a condition: the value of U should be less than zero point seven T, such that T greater than one point four three U. Okay, check U less than zero point seven T. U here it is fourteen point four zero. It is less than point seven into T. It's calculated as twenty one. Yes, save here. Then T greater than one point four three U. Okay, substitute the value of T and U. Thirty greater than one point four three U. It is twenty point five nine. Definitely, it is greater. Therefore, thirty greater than twenty point five nine. Therefore, the design is safe here. So, uh, let us conclude. Uh, the thickness thirty is provided. Therefore, provide thickness. T equal to thirty mm. Okay, step three completed. Then comes to step four. In step four, the vertical or axial stiffness calculation of vertical or axial stiffness. Okay, uh, let's start. Uh, shape factor. Shape factor S is equal to. We know the equation A B by two T into A plus B. Okay, then vertical or axial stiffness. Uh, in that shape factor S is equal to A B divided by two T into A plus B. A width B length T thickness. Substitute all these values in this equation. 
टू फिफ्टी इंटू फाइव हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई टू इंटू टी एट इज थर्टी इंटू टू फिफ्टी प्लस फाइव हंड्रेड एंड द आंसर इज टू पॉइंट सेवन सेवन शेव फैक्टर एस इज इक्वल टू टू पॉइंट सेवन सेवन देन स्टेप फाइव फाइंड आउट द एवरेज कंप्रेसिव स्ट्रेस एंड इट इज डिनोटेड बाई सिकमा एम ओके सिकमा एम इक्वल टू वी नो द इक्वेशन पी डिवाइडेड बाई ए ई वे पी टोटल वर्टिकल लोड एंड ए ई effective plan area okay then effective plan area capital a equal to small a minus u that means excluding the uh, deformation a minus u into b substitute all the values then capital a equal to 117800 mm square substitute this a in equation Sigma m equal to p by a. Okay, p total vertical load. It is calculated in step one to fourteen to ten raised to three. Make it in newton divided by a. It is two point zero six seven newton per mm square. Check this value with two g s. G it is given in the question s shape factor and it is five point five four. Okay, two less than five point five four. then the design is safe here also okay the last check step 6 to check uh, the slip that means to prevent the slip first condition sigma m equal to pc divided by ae that is greater than 1 plus a by b substitute all the values total load okay and sigma m equal to 2.037 greater than 1.5 okay and second check hc plus hs it is less than f into pc plus ps it is 60 hc plus hs it is less than 0.3 it is coefficient of friction and pc plus ps it is 240 and the design is safe here okay let's conclude at step 1 to step 6 and the design is safe for more references refer these textbooks of design of bridges thank you